This is week two of the Maybe Comeback and the weight loss mission and taking hopefully some subscribers along the journey with me for general well-being, yeah, which I'm going to talk about. But Louis zooms into my clock. I'm going to go to 54 minutes. Um, the reason I'm going to go to 54, at 17 minutes my phone rang, a friend phone, and I went to answer and I accidentally hit uh, the emergency stop button. So um, a minute stoppage, as I say, no cheating like before, no wheeze this time, just a minute stoppage by accident. Uh, so 17 and 54, 3.5. So I'm just uh, approaching my 70 minute, you can see I'm doing it quite easy. Not out of breath, it's just a, a mental thing. I'm bored in this. But I've got my phone on as I said and I get used to it. But anyway, just about to finish and I've got some important information to come up for my fans and people that want to follow me. So really there. As you can see, a little bit of sweat has come out of my uh, Batman suit. It's just drenched all the way through. Even my trainers are wet. So, um, yeah, so for you who watched uh, week one, um, I said it was going to be a challenge and a journey on to as to where I could get my weight in right enough shape, my body reacted to the stuff I'm doing and we then start training if we got to the body weight and see how the body reacted under then what would be six days training um, but before I go into that to give you some insight where we would get to um, I'd just like to say thank you to all my subscribers, I've hit my landmark of a thousand now, it's a landmark so thank you all, thanks uh, firstly to all my support and I do love the comments but please excuse me, I don't always, I read them all, I don't always reply because it's a bit technical, I don't have it at hand on my phone and now and again I instruct, instruct my daughter, uh, my camera girl, to do that. So um, firstly thanks, and secondly apologies but I do read so please keep them coming and I know there's one, I can't think of your name, I've seen it, um, I know the name but I can't remember the name um, top of my head but you said you're starting with me so I think it's important if anybody comes on this journey um, that I'll give you some sort of firstly safety tips and secondly some um, consistency tips all right some nutrition tips all right okay so um, if you are I mean many of you won't have the access of being in an eating room in a sauna uh, sorry not in a sauna my sauna's to my left as you can see here yeah so that's on and it's thrown out my lovely temperature. It's, it's better than me putting heaters on. So if you can imagine, it's a bit like a Bikram yoga. Have you ever done that? You basically yoga in the heat. Yeah. Um, but we sweat a lot. Now, I've taken on some water. Arguably you could say, well, why don't you just go in the sauna? Well, we're moving here and we're burning fat. If we just stayed in the sauna, we would just burn fluids, all right? So, but anyway, on to fluids. Um, I've got a great big sweat on, replace it with fluids, arguably you'd say, where is your weight loss? Well, water goes through you. It helps pass uh, through your system, uh, you know, both ways. So water's a great thing. Water never rolls into you. If you, you, you drunk, for example, three, four litres of water or a gallon of water or something, you would just wee it out and it would take all toxins and salts out through your body. Yeah, so you wouldn't hold it. It wouldn't necessarily hold your weight. It would if you sort of add it now and then just went in for a weigh-in, of course. So the important thing is, um, don't be scared to take water. We're burning fat, yeah? First week we will burn excess fluids, which I'll come to in a minute on the weigh-in, but we're burning fat, not fluids, all right? So don't be afraid to take plenty of water in if you're in an heated environment or if you're doing the bit on the road. That's the first thing. Second thing is, this journey's for everybody, yeah? Okay, well, we're focusing on what happens to my body 
and the comeback. Yes, part of my crowd will be doing that. But I can see a little bit of interest gathering from people who are just around the middle age that want to get fitter. So we're all around that age where things like diabetes, fatty liver, cholesterols can be problematic or circling around, waiting to happen, right? So it'd be great if I could, um, the comeback and the, that journey would be just a, an added bonus, but it'd be absolutely marvellous if I could take somebody on a little bit of an elf trip, good for their elf. Now I do 3.5 miles per hour. I think that's around five kilometers, because um, it's 10 to six, isn't it? So, no, it's a bit more than that, I think. Uh, yeah, it's probably around that, around five, five miles. I haven't done it accurately, but uh, three point five miles an hour, if you're on a machine or your app on the phone, I just adjust to it. But that's for me, yeah? You might be a slighter guy, that can nimble away at 3.8 or something, then that's fine. But you might be somebody who's not used to walking. I've done a huge amount of walking and running over my, my life, so I'm quite used to it. You might only want to do, say, three miles an hour, then that's fine. So set yourself a realistic target. Tyson Fury, the heavyweight king, says um, no matter what speed you're doing, even this walking, you're lapping a bloke on the sofa. And the words, um, wise words from a young man. And um, so you don't have to run out there 100 miles an hour to start. All right, so Walter, do it your way. You know, what speed suits you? If you're starting puffing a bit, because I don't know your shape from behind the camera, you know what I'm saying? So let your body be the judge, all right? It's meant to be fun. Fun on the training to start with, all right? You know, I take you on a journey where we get fitter. I wouldn't expect you to go and fight in front of 2,000 people. That's not the journey for you. That potentially might be for me. So it's a du double meaning to this take if you get me, right? Okay? So, um, don't forget Walter, that's safety. Don't forget the number on your speed. That's your thing. You must wrap up. You've got to burn fat, right? Okay, don't get it confused with a sauna. Eat. We move, we burn fat. Good. Right. Um, dietary. If I put you on a diet where you're hungry, no man on the planet would stick it. It's never existed. We can't do that. So um, we've got to be fulfilling and we've got to listen to the body. Now what sort of things, if we're burning fat in the heat, what sort of things will we be looking out for? Well, when you drink lots of water, yeah, you will be losing, and you sweat a lot, you'll be losing lots of salt. So you might be fancying something salty and spicy, and that'll be potassium. So don't be afraid to chuck more salt on if you're sweating on your food. Sugar's poor for your health um, in numbers, but Salt's not, all right? Okay, so don't be afraid, that'll be potassium. So good thing for that, really good thing for that. You might find just something salt and spicy. So um, you see these, I think they call it salt dog, but you can make your own. Tomato juice, Tabasco sauce, um, Worcester sauce, nice bit of salt. That will give you a good potassium boost. That's a, one of my favorites. That will leave you craving your potassium. You might be doing some new work, you might be feeling a little tired. If you're tired, you might fancy eating some carbs or fats. Refrain from the carbs so much. It's alright to treat yourself to an handful of chips once a week. You know, a small portion, lots of salt and vinegar, that wouldn't be a problem. But go for more like um, meat. So if you fancy some fatty meats or good fats. So don't be afraid to have that, alright? You might be fancying some greens, or you might be fancying something like dark chocolate, or you might be fancying something like liver. That means you are um, craving iron. Take it. So these are the sort of things. Fat, have some, yeah? Ideally every three or four days, or you might find your body getting a little tired and that's not cool. Fat, take it. Um, try to stay off carbs. Have carbs in the morning, as I said, brown bread, yeah? A mediocre, a mixed lunch with some and some. And your last meal, again, I'm going omelette tonight. I'm gonna have a four egg omelette with some veg, but it don't always need to be on it. Sometimes it's a nice tin of salmon, some, some bile salmon, whatever the case may be. But it's some um, protein at night. Yeah, so um, that's it. We can never be hungry. So I've refrained from fried foods. You can snack on fruits, no trouble. So healthy, free healthy meals, snack on fruits. All right, okay, that's one thing. The other, port, other thing is really, really important because it give you, could give you full soap and it could give you um, dysartnia, all right? When we weigh in, choose a day, example Saturday, Friday, you know, you might be going out giving yourself a treat, so for like a birthday, landmark, or a, a wedding, or an anniversary, or a work bill, yeah? So um, let's get things right. Weigh in approximately in a week on a chosen date, 
we've already said um, about your alcohol, give you the healthy options. Wine and soda I like. If you're gonna like a lager, maybe a few pills lagers because the sugar's out and it's quite a bit of kick in it, a few of those, so less consumption. Um, gin and tonics, vodka tonics, stuff like this, right, yeah. Okay, so if any one of them drinks through your red wine, soda as well, or, or just normal. So any of those are more healthy drinks. So um, yeah, I remember that, but the other really, really important thing is put, pick a day. Now example, I come out the gym, if this was in, this is actually a PM workout, or exercise, should we say. If I did this AM, and I went on a scale, I'd be saying like three kilo lighter. And that would be fluids, not fat loss. Um, so that'd be falsified. And on the other token, if you weighed in without training in a PM, you've already had three meals all day, all right? And fluid up, so you'll probably go two or three kilos heavier. So you want to consistently weigh in on an AM. Say, example, you were fighting, yeah, example, you um, wouldn't be having a big long workout the day before, but you would be eating a certain non heavy meal, and in the morning, before any workout, you get up and weigh in. So we weigh in in the morning, the body naturally burns a few calories, we use the loo like we have to, but that's your consistent, proper weight. Yes, you weighed in, example, 100 kilo, you went out, had a meal with friends and drinks and whatever, or just to work with three meals and lots of water and soft drinks and tea, you would be three kilo heavier, two or three kilo heavier. So that would be falsified the wrong way, disheartening. Coming out here, sweating, yeah, going straight on the scale, that too would be a falsified weight. So try to get away in, in a morning, where you've had a fairly good week, around your Friday, Saturday, whatever your day is, you might want to choose it, your, your choice of day, but it's got to be an AM, yeah? It's fine if you are consistently working out AM and you weigh the same all the time, but be cautious not to weigh in with lots of drinking fluids late in the day, if it's not a normal weigh in, and the other way around, all right, because you will get disarmed. I've treated myself twice this week. Um, one was uh, quite a, a lengthy grilled sausage, and one was a bit of mixed kebab meat from the thing, the two and the uh, chicken shish, um, coffee, and a little bit of the donner in lamb, a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I treated myself, but I lost two and a half kg, remember? So it wasn't bad, but two and a half kg might be a bit, a bit fast, really. We want to lose it about one and a half kg, ideally. Any, any loss is good, so don't be, sometimes your body adjusts a bit. If you get the scales in it, don't move. So this week I'm expecting a much less weight reduction. If I lose half a kg, one kg, I'm back in position where I want to be three kg in two weeks. Right, so um, yeah, so that's, that's really um, the information I wanted to give you. For you guys that are, are coming on, we have my, my um, I get to eight weeks, I get my weight in, I then start six day um, your training plan. And that would be two days fat burn, two days sparring, working on my technique, speed, um, and uh, yeah, so so sparring, um, working on my, my technique and, and speed. And the other two weeks would be um, I work on my heart rate, and um, I never used to, but I will be doing some weights because I'm told that I need to build some more muscles, reduce the fat. But that's if we get there. So two 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 journeys to this. Let's see how my body's reacting. Let's see how your body's reacting. Tell others. Um, so it needs to be twice a week. In your gym, in an hot environment, bonus, um, on the road wrapped up, bonus. But you can mix it up. I'll give you an example. I've got a meeting in Malt Lake, and I'm going to um, take a meeting. I'm going to put some comfortable shoes on, and I'm going to take a meeting with some couple of um, thermals underneath. I'm going to take my meeting. When I finish, I'm going to walk, walk, meet, walk and meet a friend in a pub. Yeah, I'm going to have a couple of wine and sodas because this is in its infancy and um, we haven't pressed the strict go button, we weight reducing. So remember, you can have some healthy drinks. So example, I might take my four or five mile walk from Walk Lake to Twickenham on that occasion. We mix it up a little bit. That's, of course, um, they're different from normal activity. That won't include my goal for whatever, as I've said before. Okay, or normal work day. So normal work day, three days a week. I'm on 70 minutes, you might be on 45. Yeah, you might do it your speed, but come along with me, share your pick up. I'm trying to lose two stone, you might want to lose half a stone. Yeah, and improve your diet. Because sometimes people don't necessarily lose lots of body weight, they improve their diet, right? Um, so yeah, you might find that half a stone for you and by me giving you some education, 
keep away from deep fried food. If it's going to be fried, it will be lightly in olive oil. You shake it and the oil that stays on is very, very healthy food. Nothing deep fried. The odd treat, as I said, if you want an handful of chips, something fried, it will be twice a week, odd treat. But listen to your body. Don't overdo it, okay? Swap all your soft drinks for water. As I said to you earlier, I do have the odd, um, the odd can of fizzy sugar-free pop, but it's mostly water. And if you fancy saying fizzy, you can always go fizzy water with a tiny bit of low sugar cordial or something, all right? So um, that's that. Louis will tell you, um, the scales will tell the tale. Um, this will be cut in, I think it will be coming out Sunday. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So I'm going to do myself 100 abs. You might want to do 5, 10, 15, 20, but 100 abs to me, it's the same I've done all my life. It's quite easy to me, I just get down and do them. And I'll throw my hands around, chatterbox it. You might want to throw your hands around. It don't need to be have a great technique. If you're coming on this journey of middle age, let's feel better, or all ages. Okay? The, um, just throwing my hands around literally just to keep them moving. But Louise will sign off, but you can do it. Just nice and easy. Just keep them moving. Do it your way. Don't have to be Muhammad Ali for you guys who are just coming on that health trip. Yeah. Okay. Next time, tune in, click subscribe. Tell others let's go on this little journey together. Come on oldies and youngsters, let's have some fun. This is video me. 111.8. So um, week one I was 114.9 and I went to 12.4. And as I said the first week I'd lose a lot, but this week I lost 0.6 of a kilo, which is well over a pound, pound and a quarter. So that takes me just over three kg exactly where I want to be consistent with the weight I need to lose each week. So um, 3.1 kg week two and um, we'll push on um, next week will be a slightly complicated week for me but I'll be see how consistent I am and I'll explain it all by video. But you keep going you're following me and um, this is the potential road to come back trail and the potential road to my fitness and your fitness. Three kg. Um, happy. Happy, yeah. Next week the plan will be to lose a kg. One, 1.5. Okay, thanks for tuning in.